Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Nitin Sarma and today in this video I am going to discuss all about the path module in Node.js. Actually guys, I have already discussed about the validator module, chalk module, fs module, os module and now I am going to discuss about the path module in this particular video. Actually guys, I am just telling you all the modules which are most required at the time of creating any project. So that's why I request you to understand all these modules carefully. Actually, it's my 18th video of this particular playlist, Node.js Tutorial in English 2021. If you have not watched them, so I will request you to go there and watch all the videos. Okay, guys. So now let's start. Actually, guys, path module is just provided by the Node.js. So we don't have to install it anymore I, with the help of NPM. Okay. So guys, actually this is the basically official website of Node.js. So that module which is provided by the Node.js. So we can get details of that particular module on the official website of Node.js. So guys, path module is one of them. So you can see it is showing me all the details. I will just zoom. So you can see guys, it is showing us all the details that what path module can does. What we can achieve with the help of this path module. We can use the path.base name path.delimiter, path.directory name, extension name, there are a lot of methods guys actually. There are very much important methods at the time of implementation. It is showing us help as well that how we can use it in our node app. Actually guys, you may be thinking that why we have to use path module. Suppose guys, when we have to validate our form data that user can upload only .doc files. So we have to use path module in that particular case because guys in node.js, we have a path module that help us to do all the things very easy easily manner okay guys so now let's start so guys in this particular session i have just created a blank folder path here i hope guys you have also created a blank folder i'm just creating a blank folder for individually modules because guys when we will create a project so all these modules will be used okay so now i will create a blank file here so i will just put a path.js file name here okay actually i'm just going all about the path so that's why i've just taken the name as path.js so as earlier i have seen in the node.js website that it is showing us help that how we can use this particular package in our node app you can see guys i will zoom in so yes you can see okay so now i will just use the path module in our node app firstly i have to require it yes i have just required the path module okay so now guys i will just use so just to get the file details firstly we have to a file so i will create a variable here because guys as i already discussed that path module will be used at the time of validating any particular file so suppose guys user has uploaded any files so in this particular video we are assuming a file so what i will do i will just copy the path of this particular file in which i'm going to code so i will just put it here okay and now next what i will do i will just change all these backslashes to the forward slashes yes okay so I have just defined the file details variable here in which I have just mentioned the path for which I am going to play. Okay, so now what I will do, I will just console.log. Actually guys, I will see all the results of my path module that what I can do with this particular module, I will just display the results in console. Okay, so I will just use path. Actually guys, this is the object of our module. So that's why we have to use path okay so now i will just use the method so guys i'll go to the documentation just for your reference actually guys you can see first method is showing us path.base name so then it is showing us delimiter directory name extension and lots of methods are here so i will use one by one all of them okay so firstly i will use path dot directory name and then i will pass the file details for which i'm going to check the directory details okay so guys, I have just required the path module that is core module. So I, I don't have to install it. Okay. And then I just declare a variable in which I just mentioned the path for which I'm going to operate. Okay. 
so i will just save it and i will open my command prompt because i'm using windows system so that's why i have to use so now i will rerun my program only node space path js yes guys you can see it is showing me details of particular path actually guys you can see i have just mentioned the details of file yes so it is just showing me the details of path only so it has just escaped the path.js from here and it is just showing me the path till from c colon to slash path okay so you can see in the console yes so guys you can see how much is here we can oh we can say how much easily we can get all the details of our particular file suppose guys in our later videos we will see that this path will be uploaded by the user at the time when user will upload the files and i will use the same path okay and so now i will use another method guys actually just to use another method what i have to do i have to just use console.log path dot then i have lots of uh, lots of methods so i will just use extension name yes an extension name i have to pass the file detail parameter once again here i will just control plus s and i will rerun my program yes guys you can see it is just showing me dot js it is the output basically of the first line i have just written here also but this time it is showing me the dot js this is the basically extension of the file which i am going to operate okay so guys you can see that how easily i can get the extension name so now i can validate that the whatever extension name i have got here is a valid extension or we can say it's a valid extension to process further or not so we can just restrict the user accordingly so you can see okay so now guys i will use another method console.log then path dot base name then I will just provide the file details and I will rerun my program once again. Yes, you can see guys, it is just providing me the file name only this time. We can see the base name. Actually, I just provided a full path here, but base name what it's doing, it has just returned the file name here. You can see, you can see. Okay guys, so, so you can see how much easily we can get all the details about file you can see it is showing us lots of method lot of methods you can use path.join path.is absolute normalize path. i will use some of the methods so actually guys now i will move to another one suppose guys i want to get all the details here you can see i just write down the three lines just to get the directory name just to get the extension name and just to get the base name of the particular path what i have provided here so now guys how much easier will be if path can provide us only a single function to get all the details so let's see so actually guys what i will do i will just console the things console.log then path dot we have a method that is provided by the path that method calls paths okay guys this is the single method which can solve our all these queries okay so i will just use the file details parameter once again because guys what parameter what i have to pass i have to just pass all the details of this particular path okay i have just saved it and i have just commented these lines so i will read on my firstly i will clear my console yes so now i will just read on my program once again yes yes guys you can see how much easily i can get the directory name it is just showing me root in which directory or in which drive our file exists and it is showing me directory name it is showing me base name it's showing me extension then it's showing me the name only suppose guys if i want to get the name only just like path or whatever the name user has provided suppose guys the user has provided the same file once again and again at the time of uploading so we have to make a unique name just to store in our directory because if we will use the same name that is provided by the user so next time when you user will upload the same file then our file will be replaced from our directory so that's why we have to create unique name each time we upload any particular file okay so now guys you can see this name parameter is very much important at the time of playing with files uploading okay we will see in the later videos this is the basically most important module of node.js so now guys 
question arises that it is just showing us the object you can see it is just showing us the json object okay you offer all the details but i want to get the root i want to get the directory so how can i get individual details of this part from this particular json object yes it's a very good challenge for us so now we will see that how you can get it okay so guys now what i will do i will just command the thing yes i'll just command and i will just get the response from the function data object i've just created a variable then i will just so whatever result will be written by the path dot parse method i will have just stored in the data object variable okay so now guys if i will console the same so what i will get i will get the same results what i have got earlier i will rerun my program yes you can see i'm getting the same result okay so guys because i have done the same thing only i have just stored the values in particular variable so there makes no difference but now we have to learn how we can get any particular key from a json object so suppose guys i want to use extension from this particular json object so how can i get it so it's a very simple guys what i have to use as we all know that just to get any particular value from any object we have to use dot and then name which we are going to access so which property we are going to access that is name you can see oh name is here okay so i will just save the things actually guys i will access all the properties one by one so firstly i am getting the name okay so now guys i will clear my screen once again and i will rerun my program yes you can see it is just showing me path because guys i just mentioned the file name as path.js okay so you can see that how easily i can get actually guys i will console so i will print in console this complete object as well so it will be much easier to understand yes i just access the name here so what is the name name is the path okay so now i will get another property that is extension so i will just rename this console.exe and i will rerun once again yes guys you can see it is just showing me the extension whatever the json object has so you can see guys how much easily we can catch all the details using the single method that is parse this method is going to play a very much important role at the time of project so guys i hope you have understand the path modules but still if you have not understand so firstly i will request you that you can just check all the available methods of this particular module on node.js.org but still if you have any query so you can directly put it in my comment box then i will get back to you soon as soon as possible so we will meet in the next video and we will learn something new so till the time guys take care